Welcome back to Diablo 2. And we are ready to begin Act 2. Oh, but first, um, before I started recording, I... What did I do? I went and I got another Eth rune. So I could use the other armor that I got. And I gave Floria the, the old one. So she can keep up now. And uh, let's see what else I do. I put, oh yeah, I had to put, uh, I had to build my strength to 51 just to be able to wear this. Still using this. Well, we're doing okay. We got okay resistances. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little miffed that we haven't found another zombie head or something. Maybe, maybe in the next act we'll find something. Anyway, let's uh, move on to Act 2. I mean, Act 3. My companion drew in the dank, cold air of the tomb. It seemed to... Strengthen him. I stood in the doorway between light and dark. What was left of my sanity implored me not to enter. But that voice was just a whisper now. As we worked our way down deeper and deeper into the crypt, I began to see a change in my companion. He seemed to be gaining strength. I could hardly see in the gloom, but my companion seemed to know the way. We came at last to a great hall. Step through that gate, Mars. 
Take the stone you hold to the Hellforge, where it will be destroyed. Now run. Take the stone and run! Good day. Oh, and also, I did, had to run the Countess three times to get the Eth rune because, just like in the the previous episode, <clears throat> she was only dropping one rune at a time. I just don't. I don't get it. I this is the the first time I've played and only ever seen her drop one rune per visit. Oh well. Anyway. Um, Make sure that we're still on the right difficulty. Yep, there's eight. I haven't changed Welcome it. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karas. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warning holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zacharum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zacharum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancore, located within Karas, deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. Now oh, look at these reflections, aren't they great? Look at that. You now speak to Ormus. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you, as he does in all would-be heroes. Speak to him, and he may grant you wisdom in turn, or turn from him and seek wisdom in thyself. Well, you know what they say about people that speak about themselves in the third person. Still nothing, huh? What a teleport staff. We have one of those yet? No? That's right. I don't want one anyway. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, but I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly, this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there. And you must find them. Yeah, I generally don't use the teleport staff. I mean, it's nice to have in case of emergencies, like you get stuck somewhere. But I, I don't use it to travel. Oh, that's right. We to talk to that guy. All right, ready to go out into the woods? Should we talk to her? Greetings, hero. I've heard of your exploits, and, uh, I'm quite impressed. 
Very few mortals are capable of dealing with the three and their minions as you have. My name is Natalia. I am a hunter of evil, part of an ancient order sworn to hunt down corrupted sorcerers. If I could, I would gladly join your quest to stop the three. But I must wait here for further news. I can't predict what will happen, but the danger is greater than we can know. Until I receive my orders, I'll assist you with the information I have. Which is really nothing. I always thought there would be a larger quest associated with her. Grotley is a master craftsman. My order could make use of one with his unique skill. Alright. Maybe there was going to be a quest associated with her and they just scrapped it at the last minute or something. Hey, there he is. The Dark Wanderer. What are you doing here? I've never seen that before. I have never in my entire time playing this game seen that before. The Dark Wanderer. That's amazing. All the videos I've ever watched, I've never seen anybody run into him before. That is going to be a cool clip. Wow. Wow, man. That is totally unique. Never seen that before. I've seen a lot of videos on this too, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody run into him before. Really? What a, what, a, what a crap wand. Level 1 sacrifice. 22 charges. What complete garbage that is. May as well have had nothing on it. The zombie head. I can't carry any more. Plus two to raise skeletal mage. Oh my god. This game is seriously trying to push them skeletal mages. 
Haven't they heard? Nobody likes them. They're actually not bad. But they're too weak. They just go down so fast. There's really no point in wasting the mana to summon them. Even after the buff. They just die too quick. Alright, a little hint about these spider holes. I have never seen the one that has the, the waypoint next to it end up being the one that you need to go to. Not like I've tried it like a million times or anything, but we'll go in here anyway. Just to check it out. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure this won't be the one that has the piece that we need. That's a lot of spiders. Holy crap. Yeah, a corpse explodes would be real good in a situation like this. That was a lot of spiders. Wow. There's a the treasure. See? Not the right one. So if you're ever in a hurry and you're trying to get all the pieces real quick, you come across the waypoint near the spider hole it won't be the one that has the treasure so you could probably skip it I don't think it ever alternates I think it's just always the wrong one 
So if you get to the spider hole with the waypoint, not the one. Actually, I should probably take advantage of that waypoint and unload. Back in Lutgolain, Meshif told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. I would show him your figurine. I'm going to show him my figure. All right. I have been working out, too. Hmm. Eisenhower's case. Yeah, I probably won't be using that ever. I'll hang on to it for now. So that, ooh, that's one of the max damage and 15 mana. Hmm, why couldn't it be half this size? That would take up more space than I'm willing to give up. Let me just stick it in here for now. So you give up all resistances, 6, for 10 fire and poison, and 23 chance of getting magic items. Oh yeah, we got a cold and lightning as well. 21 cold. Yeah, I guess that is better. Let's stick that in there. Can't get over seeing the the Dark Wanderer. That's amazing. I've never seen that before. I'm flabbergasted. I'm guessing that's a pretty rare incident. Yes. Well, I'm sure there have been people that have seen it, but I, I don't think anybody's ever made a video about it. Not that I've seen. I'm going to do a search after I finish recording this, see if I can find any info on that. Which I'll probably discover that it's extremely common. And I'm the only one that's never seen it. Mm-hmm. No teleports. Plus one to summoning skills. Terror and Iron Maiden. <clears throat> Excuse me. And 12 energy. It's actually, that's not bad. One to summoning skills, two to terror. Terror I don't use. But it's it's good to have if you don't have teleport because it'll help you get stuff off of you. Two to summon resist. Bone sphere. Yeah, nothing, nothing's, nothing's feeling right. I'll keep waiting. Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. Praise you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here, I've had this statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. All right, thanks. Bird, give us the bird. 
Yeah, where's my, my health numbers? Is that unchecked? I like seeing my numbers. Oh, she don't want the statue. Hormus gave us the bird. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I... Oh, you're a necromancer, aren't you? I've heard that your kind use powerful potions and such to wake the dead and control spirits. <laughs> I'd love to discuss what components you use sometime. I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves myself, and I can sell you some if you really need them. Uh, feel free to drop by any time. Ah, the golden bird of Kuile. Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I have made for you. Okay, we don't have to wait too long. It's really about 10 seconds or so. Then you can just come back and... Hello! Oh, not yet. Uh, three, two, one, contact. From the ashes of Quile, I have mixed for you a potion. Two eighty two, three oh two. Nice. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one, Kalim, the K. Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as K. Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful, and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will, to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. Okay. Sell this, that, put that away. Yeah, I guess we're good. Now, before we head back, give me a minute. I gotta get some more coffee. Okay. Now we need to find the Great Marsh.
long sword. Too much. Wasting my time. Tooth. Interesting. Why can't I find a really cool wand? You always find them when you don't need them, right? Check your car keys. Check out some of these alternate pads. naked girl left to die in the water. What a shame. I think it's a girl. Nice butt. Nice patookas. the hole we're looking for. Thank you. 
probably go this way anyway. Not this way. Let's see, it's got to be down here then. So it doesn't have to be. I mean, it could be anywhere. There it is. Too shabby. All right, we got two pieces now, right? I oh, know we got that's our first piece. the next piece it's in um oh. somewhere in the marsh right What is that? That's that little symbol that was above that one's head. I saw it, again. I saw it on the spiders too. I got something that does that? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. I don't, 
believe I've ever seen that icon before above any of their heads. This game is turning out to be quite unusual. Then there were eight. Oh, my girlfriend died. We have to go get her back. I am overwhelmed. I was reading the stuff on the ground. She must have been standing in a very bad spot. Poor thing. Look at the waypoints in here. for the money. Yeah, there was nothing in there. Just hoping it was a waypoint. Reveal the true path to Mephisto. Place the eye in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The heart, the brain, and the flail.
Probably hang on to that till I know what to do with it. Probably won't ever use it. What's that? Wait, a little flawed. Yep. Keep one with us. Hello. As I told you before, I placed an enchantment upon the dark side in order to keep the demons at bay. But lately, the enchantment seems to be weakening. If memory serves me correctly, there's a holy Skatsimi blade that could revitalize the enchantment. The blade is called the Gidbin. Find it, and our sanctuary here will remain safe. So it's a special knife. You can't just use any old knife, eh? must be a great adventure to risk coming here. My name's Ashira, and I lead the mercenary band of mages known as the Iron Wolves. We've been hunting down demons in the jungle for months, but no matter how many of them we kill, they just keep coming. Seems this whole place has been overrun by evil. Rumor has it that you've come here to help. If that's true, then I'll let you hire some of my mercenaries. But be careful. If you piss them off, they can be worse than those monsters out in the jungle. Uh, it's okay, we'll keep our girl. Dump off some money. Okay, let's go!
Oh crap! Right up here, huh? This is the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep, this is the way. Point. The way point. Found the way. Also, not the way. But this is something. Oh, this is Flare Jungle. We're not ready for that yet. We gotta find something else. Oh, wait. Maybe the other pieces. Um, oh, it's in the Flare Dungeon, right? It's not it. Dead end. Oh, 
Okay, good way point.
Oh, really? <laughs> That was cheap. The second I used that antidote, <laughs> it just sprayed into a huge thing. What a mess. Yes. Good day. Greetings. I can't use either one of those. This place is a maze. It's amazing. You ever feel like a mouse? Where's the cheese, man? I know it's in here, I can smell it. Where's my stuff? How did that happen? pieces. I am overburdened. Stop walking on the pressure plates. This is most fortunate. 
Colleen's brain knows Mephisto's weakness. Place it in the Herodric cube along with Colleen's other relics. The eye, the heart, and the flail. Hello. Greetings. Last pieces in the sewer, right? All right, hang on a second. Let me check something. All right, it's been an hour, so I'm going to cut this one here. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Maybe we'll run into the, the Dark Wanderer again. That was pretty cool. Anyway. I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Take care.